The Chucky franchise, otherwise known as the Child's Play franchise, is one of my favorite horror franchises of all time. But today I'm going to do a ranking. So sit back and relax, and this is my ranking of all the Child's Play movies, including the remake. Enjoy. Coming in last place is Sita Chucky. When I was a kid, I used to love Sita Chucky, um, probably because of how comedic it was as I got older. I, for that same reason, I really started disliking C the Chucky. It's just so too over the top humor, and a lot of the jokes just don't work with me. Especially being compared to the other movies. I know that Bride of Chucky had humor in it, but this one was just over the top, and a lot of the jokes really didn't land with me. It, as the humor in horror movies is good, there's always been uh, humor in the Chucky movies, but. They just did it over the top with this one. So, Seed of Chucky is very bottom of my list. I mean, there's nothing really positive I can say about this movie. It is my least favorite. Number 7, The Child's Play Remake. Now, this wasn't necessarily a bad movie. It's just the, the first Child's Play got there first. And here's the thing. They did something different. They did something different. Instead of a voodoo chant, there's no, there's no uh, Charles Lee Ray. They did their own, their own thing. Nobody's trying to possess nobody's soul. Uh, it was just this robot who pretty much uh, was tampered with at the factory, which was kind of a lazy way to tell the story of this worker who got fed up with his job. Um, I. I thought it was unique in that way, but it just overall wasn't the good. I wasn't really too thrilled with the design of Chucky. But I give them props for doing something different. I honestly think that the kid was way too old for that role. And to be honest with you, I, I wasn't, I didn't really care for a lot of the characters in the movie. But I mean, it's worth a watch if you want to see an alternate, alternate version of Chalice Play. But that's just why it's my pick. It just, the, the first Child's Play was there first and did it better. But I give them props for being unique and doing their own thing. Like with an AI doll and, and just pretty much uh, no soul possessing. So they're unique in that way. So that's why it's number seven for me. Number six, Cult of Chucky. And this movie, in my opinion, actually wasn't too bad. You see, in this movie, you actually get to see Chucky possess somebody's body, which is something that we haven't seen at all in the entire Child's Play franchise. Something always gets interrupted, something happens, but he ends up possessing Nika's body, which is a follow-up, this movie is a follow-up to Curse of Chucky. Uh, Nika is the one in the wheelchair and gets sent to the mental hos hospital because um, of all the murders that happened to Curse of Chucky. And she, she blamed all the uh, murders on Chucky. And obviously that she, she got sent to the mental institution. Now this movie is really... This one's actually really creepy. But not as creepy as uh, Curse of Chucky, which I will get to eventually. And it's set, it's it's mostly set in this hospital setting. Then you also have uh, Alex Vincent return as Andy, which is actually my favorite part of the movie because Andy's the OG, and I like the OG people. And this move this movie gets a lot of points for its creativity, it has some callbacks to other movies. Um, but there are. Some parts of the movie that I think that are were lazily written, and it's like, come on now. And it's just, some of it is very goofy and stuff. And not as goofy as Cedar Chucky, but there are some goofy parts that I'm just like, come on. And so that's the reason why this, this is my number six pick. Number five, Bride of Chucky. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this because I know this is a lot of people's favorite Chucky movie. But, I mean, this this movie uh, breathes new life into Chucky. 
I mean, in the Chucky franchise, uh, which at that point in time was a, an otherwise dead series after uh, Child's Play 3 uh, flopped in theaters. I like Child's Play 3, but we're not, we're not there yet, though. But, for Bride of Chucky, they breathed new life into this franchise by adding Tiffany. Uh, Jennifer Tilly plays Tiffany very well. I like the Bonnie and Clyde feel that this movie gives off. And it's the the direction it goes, it's there I mean it, it's a it's a they they add comedy more comedy to it than the other three Chucky movies. Not too much like uh see the Chucky did. And they tell they tell the story of of how Tiffany finds Chucky after the events of Child's Play Three and she stitches them up together from when he when he got smashed from that big fan in Child's Play Three. And uh, she brings Chucky back to life. They, she, if she uh, gets uh, her soul transferred into a doll's body too. Chucky transfers her soul into uh, another uh, ball, doll's body, and they are gonna go get the heart of Dambala, which, which was around uh, Charles Lee's Charles Lee Ray's neck, neck, at in Child's Play One. And they have to get that amulet because to transfer souls into this these couples body that they hitch a ride with in the movie. The movie is really well played out. Um it gives but it gives off a different vibe than the first three movies did. I mean I like the comedic elements of this movie, but I think that the comedic elements were always there. And in the other three movies, it's not over. I said it's not over the top, but it's but it's sometimes it can get ridiculous. But it's it was it's a new it's a new spin on Chucky, and it's like it's it's you get to see the dolls on screen more more than any other movie. So that's that's good. But it I still prefer I still prefer when Chucky. But had a solo act by himself, pretty much. But this was a pretty good entry into the series. But that's why it's my number five pick. Number four, Curse of Chucky. In my opinion, one of the scariest Chucky movies that there is. I mean, this movie is really scary in terms of Chucky. And the first time I watched it, uh, when I think I was in high school, uh, there was even a few times when it made me jump. Um, it went back to the horror roots right after C. This is the movie after C. to Chucky, which C. to Chucky happened like 2004, I want to believe, when this movie came out over a decade later, and or about a decade later. I might remember. I don't remember exactly how long it was, but it went back to the horror roots that actually made Chucky scary. Nika, they introduced Nika in this movie. And she was the only only likable character in this movie. They had all these other asshole people she was around, her family and such, who treated her like crap. And Nico's pretty much the only one you're rooting for to survive in the movie. And she's in a wheelchair the entire time. And pretty much she try, she battles Chucky in the house. And then you also have Chucky sneaking around and he, you, you, you actually are convinced that he's scary in this movie. I said in the pre, like in Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky, we weren't really afraid of Chucky, but in this movie you were, and this movie was great for all the jump scares and the suspense and the post credit scene with Andy is amazing. When Andy blows Chucky's head off in the post credit scene, and this movie was really good. And it, has, and it needs more, and it needs more recognition. So this one is the reason. This is the reason why this is my number four pick. Number three, Child's Play. I know a lot of people have this as their number one favorite, but I still have two other movies that are above it. This movie is actually very iconic, especially since it started. It start. It kicks off the Child's Play franchise and the start of Chucky. This is the movie where, in which we see uh, Charles Lee Ray put his soul into the good guy doll, thus making Chucky. 
we are also introduced to Andy and his mother in such an iconic movie. And we actually get a few good kills in this movie. Especially the one in which Chucky pretty much electrocutes a guy to death. <laughs> it's... It's a really good movie. Then you got that very badass ending scene in which Chucky is trying to put his soul into Andy's body. But uh, the, the detective and his mom come in there and stop Chucky. Then you got this epic battle in which, uh, the, in which uh, they burn Chucky. And then they shoot off his limbs, but Chucky's still going. And they finally shoot him in the heart thus ending Chucky, well, for that movie. Such a great, iconic movie, and great, such a great kickoff start to this franchise, and that's the reason why it's my number three pick. Number two, Child's Play 3. I feel like Child's Play 3 is very, very underrated. I, people put it at the very bottom of their list. Mine's in my top two. I like this movie. I, the only thing I get, the only complaint I say about this movie is the fact that uh, they have Andy older, but I do, but I do uh, like the person who plays Andy. I think he did a pretty good job. Um, I love the whole military setting. You got so, the best Chucky one-liners in here. Chucky one-liners in here, like "Don't fuck with the Chuck," is his number one, my number one favorite uh, Chucky quote. I love the military setting. I love the kills in this movie. They've had, they have the best. Uh, Chucky death scene in the movie in which uh, Chucky gets obliterated by this giant fan um, It's it's one of my personal favorite horror movies uh, Very very underrated also I think Chucky has the best look in the entire franchise in this movie at the end of the movie when he gets his face sliced off That's the best look. Um, I don't know why people uh, have it so low on, the, on their list you have Andy over here who is protecting this kid, and he is fully aware of Chucky. He is protecting this kid because um, Chucky's trying to possess uh, this new kid's body. Tyler, his name was. Overall, it's a fun movie, and you have Andy having a love interest, and the whole military setting is phenomenal. I really like it. Very underrated movie. I don't know why people have it at the bottom of the list, but Child's Play 3 is my number two pick because it's freaking awesome. And my number one pick, Child's Play 2. That This is by far my favorite Chucky movie, and I can't say anything negative about the movie. This movie is absolutely perfect to me. Chucky is full front and center. There is no hiding, no secrets like there was in the first one. There wasn't Chucky like sneaking around and stuff. No, we see Chucky fully. Um, he, of course, uh, Andy is by, uh, Andy returns, um, in a foster home, and, uh, Chucky's brought to life at the, uh, play, as a Play Pals toy factory, and they bring him back to life, and he electrocutes, he, he electrocutes one of the, uh, the workers, and you have some of the best kills in this movie. We are also introduced to Kyle, uh, Andy's foster sister. And she's just really badass, and she's pretty much the only one who eventually believes Andy at the end of the movie that Chucky is alive. You also have that famous scene in which Chucky uh, attacks Andy's teacher with the ruler, and I always thought that was actually one of the best kills, if not the best kill, in the entire franchise. I really like the, dolls, the doll design for Chucky in this movie, and this is the movie that cemented uh, Chucky... Chucky's like funny personality. I think in the first movie he like cracked one or two jokes, but in this movie he has a perfect amount. Uh, this movie and also the third one, I think that Bride of Chucky and Seed of Chucky kind of go over the top, especially Seed of Chucky with the humor, but this movie is just perfect with it. And I, as I said before, Chucky becomes a, an icon in this movie well he does in the first one but this is this movie is full on chucky but anyway guys i hope you guys enjoyed my ranking let me know in the comments down below what your ranking would be and don't forget to like share and subscribe we're almost at 70,000 subscribers sorry for the long video and i'll see you next time